We're now on to Douglas Borthwick, who's the Chief Marketing Officer of INX Services. It's a platform for cryptocurrencies and security tokens. And I hope you explain that those things to our audience, audience Douglas, because you hear those words a lot, but who knows what they actually are. Well, thank you very much for having me, Richard and Elizabeth. Um, crypto, I guess you just think of as Bitcoin. You know, Elon Musk today said you can now buy a, buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. Now, what we offer is we offer people to trade in Bitcoin and Ethereum, products like that, cryptocurrencies, but at the same time under a very regulated umbrella. There's been a lot of cowboys that have come out and tried to trade crypto and, and taken your money and ran off into the, into the sunset. And what we wanted to do is really create something that was a little bit different. But on top of that, we wanted to create a cryptocurrency trading platform that the people could be part of. And this is something that's important to entrepreneurs. Normally, you know, if you were to ask anyone here, you know, how do you raise money? And they'll say, well, we raise it from friends and family, a couple of VCs, maybe a private equity company. We went to the SEC with the guy that invented the Jobs Act, a guy called David Wield. And we said, listen, guys, we want to raise money directly from the public through a website to sell an SEC registered security, not a Reg A or Reg D, but a full security, just like Amazon. And we want to sell it to people, regular people, not just rich people like accredited investors, but everyday people. And they laughed at us. They said, go away. We came back with MWE, a big term time law firm. We spent three and a half million dollars in legal fees. We went there with Ernst & Young. We spent three years, 950 days, and created for the first time the very first, what's called a security token, which is really just a fancy name for a digital security. But we opened up a website and we said, listen, guys, you want to trade crypto and you want to own part of this platform's profits? Come on in. And people go there every single day and we can advertise on Twitter. We go out there on Facebook, on Google ads. And we say, guys, if you want to invest in a platform and be part of it, why don't you come on in and you build a community? Every single day, someone learns about us. They hear our story. They see a YouTube video. They listen to a podcast like this. They come in and they join our community. When joining the community, they invest thousand dollar minimum and there you get some guys putting in half a million some putting in a thousand dollars but the little guy can finally get involved and in the old days it was only the rich guys that were investing in private equity companies to get into it if you want to buy into coinbase which is a well-known cryptocurrency trading platform you'll be getting in when it's worth a hundred billion dollars wow and if you invest with us you're getting in on the ground floor and so we've changed the game, and it's really thanks to the Jobs Act and, and David Wield, who was the vice chairman of NASDAQ that invented this Jobs Act, that allowed you to go directly to the public and raise money and then sell a security, a full security. They got at one point, we'll be able to trade on NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange, or certainly on my company's uh, platform, which is called INEX. And that's, uh, I guess, you know, the security token side. Think of it just as a digital security that trades 24 hours, seven days a week in fractional format. Now think about that for a little while. You can invest in a company, but you don't have to be in America to buy it. And it trades 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's, I'd say maybe two thirds of the world lives in developed economies. They can't afford the average share. The average share in the US is maybe $18. But they wanna be part of that American dream. They wanna own part of Amazon, part of Nike. They wanna be able to buy products, but the stock market's closed in their time zone or they don't earn anything close to the average share price. With digital securities, with fractional ownership, with 24 hours a day, seven days a week trading, anyone anywhere in the world can afford to buy a tiny slice of something and build their own portfolio on the back of it. Now, this is what the blockchain brings. It's not just about Bitcoin and Elon Musk. It's about democratizing investing opportunities for the world. Now, That's it took great. us three years. So Douglas, let me hop in here and ask a quick question. So yeah. if you're an entrepreneur that wants to raise money on the INX platform, what would they do? Or is that possible? Well, it's possible, but generally the entrepreneur is looking to raise under $5 million. And for something like that, you do what's called a Reg CF, which is a crowdfunding regulation. And you right. can do an SEC registered security as a Reg CF or a Reg D and in that way, you're sort of raising that $5 million. But if you're looking to raise more than that, like let's say $100 million, then you go the whole hog. And that's when you do a full security. But there's, you know, there's other types. There's Reg A, there's Reg A+. Plus. There's many different types of ways of raising money. So uh, it, all of this sounds uh, kind of complicated to me. And it, it sounds 
great, but it sounds a little bit complex. It, Let me get where somebody. Books. Where would somebody go to like? Is there an expert someplace, or does your company provide uh, a, a service for giving advice to people who maybe want to take advantage of uh, of some of these features, um, or? Is this really just more like the New York Stock Exchange where you're buying and selling shares and um, you're bidding on different coins? Um, I, yeah. Can you help this, put that into a context? This is hard to understand for a well, let me let me Let me give you an extreme example. Okay. Let's say you've got a pop star, Taylor Swift. She's got a lot of fans, right? 100 million fans. Or let's say you're a jewelry designer and you've got 10,000 people in your, in your Rolodex that have all signed up on your website. And now you want to raise money. You could go to a bank and they could advise you on how to raise money. You could go to someone who's going to take 10, 15% of whatever money you raise. Or you could set up a website and you could send a tweet out and say, look, guys, I'm selling my music collection or I'm selling the you know 50% of the profits we make in my company going forward. Do you want to be part of that? And your community will rally around you and they'll come to that website and they'll buy the security and it'll be held in digital format on the blockchain. Now, this is huge because in the old days, you want to raise a hundred million, you want to raise $5 million. Guess what? You only get $4 million after the bank's taken their chunk or the, the money raiser as they'll call themselves takes their piece here. You, the person with the company can go out there and raise the money from your community, from the people that support you and love you and love your brand and the idea behind it, and you can raise money directly. Now, we've bought a broker dealer called Open Finance. Once that comes under our umbrella, then we'll be able to give offer, offer advice um, to folks. But right now, I can't offer securities advice because we don't have the broker dealer behind us. But what I will tell you is things are about to change. The SEC's chairman, Clayton, who was on his way out, the, who's, who's left since you know for the last couple of months, on his way out the door, he said he can see all securities move onto the blockchain. So that means about $75 trillion of market cap is going to move on to the blockchain. And that means that the little guy now can raise money or invest in people's ideas and people they believe in. It's That's not just the rich guy anymore. So Douglas, can I ask you a question? So the closest thing I can think of in my brain, and I don't know a lot about this, is for the people investing in a partial coin, that's almost like a mutual fund, right? Only different. And then for the people that I, I are- I think you're confusing. You're confusing okay. coins with securities. A security token is a full security, just like Amazon or Nike. A coin is a digital currency, like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Wow. And so there's two different things. Now you can get a security token, which is really a fancy name for a digital security that trades 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can get a fractional ownership of that. And what I'm saying is we've created a way for entrepreneurs like all of your, your panelists here to be able to raise money directly from the public with a full US security. And then people can trade it. Normally you see a cash, you, you see someone raising money and you think your money's lost for five, 10 years. You know, it, it's gone down this, this deep hole and you'll never get it back. With security tokens, I could invest in a jewelry collection that's here and invest in the designer because I really believe in that idea and that vision. And I love the pieces. And maybe she says, you know what, if you invest in me, all the people that invest in me on a pro rata basis, I'll give you 30% of the profits we make from this business. I say, that sounds great to me. And me and 100,000 other people that believe in the jewelry designer are going to go out there and talk to everyone on social media and say, you got to check out this jewelry. Why? Because I'm getting a piece of the action now. So she's able to raise money directly from the public and have those public become part of our community and then go out and market it for her on social media to all their friends. Uh, this is a way to hyperdrive your project. Sure, that's a that's a that's a real change in the investing model, and it opens up a lot of possibilities for entrepreneurs and investors. So, Sharon, did you have any questions or comments for so Doug? Yeah, Doug? So, is the brand promise to uh, um, invest or raise money, like it create a portfolio or or both? Well, my, my brand promises neither. My brand is the one we, we actually created the first ever security token. So we, we took what was an idea in the Jobs Act and made it into a full security with the SEC. And in doing so, created what the SEC is defined as a new asset class. 
And this asset class is one that allows entrepreneurs to raise money themselves. I don't even have to be involved in the process. No, no, I don't mean you. I'm talking about the company itself. So you, well, so our, you, our so company has two trading platforms, one for the trading of crypto and the other for the trading of security tokens. And these security tokens could be, li- li- could be linked to any kind of vision that we're listening to here, or it could be linked to anyone's company that they decide, I'm going to be an issuer of securities. Normally, if you issue a security, you've got to be Nike. You've got to be a big company. You think, right. a billion dollar company. No, right. you don't anymore. You could be a $5 million company. So you can list that security on my exchange. So if, just to clarify then, you're talking about the new types of securities that are available. Index has a security coin for their trading platform, right? That And so, um, so people can list their their new coins on these platforms. Yeah, we raised money by creating the first ever security token IPO on the blockchain. By doing that, we set a pathway now for all other entrepreneurs that want to do something similar. And then they would list their tokens, their security tokens on our trading platform. Mm. And everyone that's trading crypto on my, my, on my crypto trading platform, and that could be you know, tens of millions of people, we can introduce them to all of these great projects that are trading on the security token trading platform. So now you've got an audience of that I'm bringing to you from my crypto trading, from the guys trading Bitcoin and Ethereum, and they could turn around and say, hey, you know what? I really like this idea that's being pitched to me. I like the idea of this, this, this food idea or this jewelry idea. I want to get involved. Sounds and now they can for the first time. Kenya, any questions or comments? I do have a question. So first of all, I love that your platform is all about inclusivity because I think that's important and opportunities are important for people. Is there an educational component to your platform for people who are like new in this space, who don't know a whole lot about this, but are interested? I think the best way to really learn about it, and we've, we've sort of put together some cartoons on YouTube, is uh, on YouTube, there's a channel, INX Limited. And if you go there, there's a set of five that really discuss the different ways that entrepreneurs can use security tokens to build a community, to raise money, and ultimately to be, to have you know, many, many agents for them, essentially you're, you're, you're getting a marketing team that's going out there and talking about you all the time. Let's say I'm with peopleofcolorcareers.com and I've got all of these members. And I say to these members, you know what? Every time you bring someone to me, I'm going to give you some, some tokens. And they say, this is great. I want to bring lots of people to you. I want to bring companies to you too, because I want a lot of these tokens. And then you get another corporation that says, you know what? If you give me enough of these tokens, let's say it's JetBlue. And they say, you give me 25 of these tokens, I'll give 20% off. Our, our flights. They're going to say, I want to get these tokens. How do I get these tokens? I talked to a company the other day and they want more people to give blood. And they're going to give people the blood token whenever you give blood. That sounds like a great idea. But what's the blood token worth? Well, if it trades on my exchange and someone buys 20 of these blood tokens, maybe they'll get 10% off of JetBlue. So now suddenly someone's going to come and say, I need, I want to get 10% off of JetBlue. Let me buy 10 of these tokens. And the price starts moving up. I want to and start, more people start giving blood because the blood token becomes worth more. And this is corporations helping people with ideas. Now, this is the idea I'm given there with regarding JetBlue and the blood token are, are examples. They're not actually, JetBlue is nowhere involved in anything. Got here. It. Got but what I'm telling you is, this is how we're enabling things is that you can have an idea. I want more trees planted in this place. I want to do this. I want more African-American entrepreneurs to be hired by different companies. And you do it through security tokens because they get people, uh, there's, there's a return on just the idea. I want to do the pets and babies token. Well, I look, you that would be at, very popular. You could look at passage to profit and you could tokenize it. I could say, look, I love you guys. I think you guys are fantastic at doing this. And you're probably getting some sort of residual. I could net present buy the residuals and put that into a trust. We could tokenize the trust. And then everyone that's ever been on your show could buy into that trust in a fractional basis and go out there and talk about how passage, passage to profit is the best you know, source of information for entrepreneurs. And they go out there and push it. And maybe you give up a little bit of your ownership of the residuals coming forward, but now you've found a way to expand your brand in such a way that it's now a hyper brand. All right. Well, let's That's talk incredible. after the show. That it's sounds liter- like a great it's idea. Literally <laughs> passage, it's literally passage to profit coming to life. Yeah, we're we're in your corner. So real quick to Kenya's question, though, the education component. So do we just speak to our financial advisors about your financial advisor to get the advice? They've got no idea about this. So you do. So you don't have that. So so who do I go to to talk about this opportunity? Well, you'd come to me and then I'll work you through it. But also if 
your listeners want to get an idea of what is a security token or a digital security, again, go to YouTube, look up INX Limited, INX Limited. And there, there's a set of five videos. Actually, they're in Japanese and English. But watch the videos, and you can get a sense of how you can use your followers to raise money. Once you've got an idea there and you think you can use that with your brand, I'll help you with the tokenomics of how exactly you should structure something. And then I'll help you and introduce you to different folks that can help you along the way. And so, look, you know, right now, we're the very first ever. So it's not like you've got a lot of examples out there. Right. But the first ever is working. We're raising a considerable amount of money online with a website, and we're cutting out all the middlemen that used to take all these little pieces. Well, that sounds great. Unfortunately, we have to leave now, but welcome to the future, everyone. Right. And uh, this, this is all stuff that we're going to have to know about going forward. Well, it's forward. making a lot of sense with some of the things our son. Our son is 29, and he's buying these tokens somewhere, and we're kind of like, what are you... Like it's he's a coin. Making it's money, like, so. Yeah, it's, he's making money. It's like it's so anybody can make a coin. Slime. Anybody can do it. So you really, I like it's bringing some structure around it. I am going to watch your video on YouTube. Yeah, that sounds great. So thank great. you for joining us, uh, Douglas. You. And uh, where can people uh, reach you again? You mentioned your website, but why don't best you place is to go to the website. Go to inx.co. Welcome to the future, everyone. This thank is <laughs> this has been great. We'll be right back with more Passage to Profit after this message.